Uh, Instagram, a wrestling historian says, what was the moment that made you stop giving a shit about WCW during its final years? Thanks in advance. Wow. I don't know if there was one moment that you can point to that says I didn't give a shit. I, I do know that the, the constant, the constant overproducing, uh, that, that I got on my headset wore me down. And I remember when, do you remember when, um, uh, I know the fans will remember this. A lot of the listeners remember this. You remember that one time they took me off a of nitro and they put Scott Hudson on yes. and I was gone for a couple of weeks. Okay. Yes. All right. I didn't mind that so much. What I minded about it was I wasn't told about it. until I got to the arena and Eric said, I just kind of think you're burned out and I think you need to take a vacation. He said, I know you don't take any time off, but I'm telling you to take a vacation and come back. And the, he said, the job's yours. You, it's fine. And I said, okay. So I took the uh, three youngest boys, went to Disney for a week. And, um, but I remember, I think we were in Cedar Rapids or somewhere in Illinois um, and Rockford, Illinois, somewhere like that. And I showed up and Scott Hudson was there. Mm. And Eric said, yes, yeah, Scott's going to do the show for you tonight. And that really pissed me off that I wasn't told in advance that they just kind of sprung it on me that Eric did. And I remember thinking, you know, maybe this wrestling is not it's all as cracked up to be if, if that's the way they want to approach me. So maybe that and the fact that, you know, Terry Taylor kept producing me and telling me what to say when he wouldn't listen to what I had to say. So anyway. 